Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have the release of the world update for Iberia which includes Portugal and Spain. Now this update here is special to me because I was actually born in Portugal so I know the country fairly well. So as always I'm going to show you guys how to install this new update properly. Uh, we'll go through some steps here and I'll show you guys how to update the content in the content manager and uh, then we'll take a look through the sim and see what new additions they've added. Just before we start guys, I just want to say thank you again for all the continued support you guys have shown this channel. And uh, I just wanted to mention that we've hit the 500 subscriber mark, which is amazing. If you guys haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel tremendously. And uh, now let's get back into the video. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to check um, is that your Windows is up to date. So if you open up your Windows update, just uh, click on check for updates. Um, I believe mine should be up to date so nothing is going to pop up, but if you do have any updates, make sure you do those just so it doesn't conflict with the program. The second thing you guys are going to want to check is to make sure that your drivers are also up to date. So I have a NVIDIA graphics card, so I use the GeForce Experience program. I go over to drivers and I click on check for updates and this is also up to date for me if you use an ATI graphics card you'll most likely have a different program but you'll want to do the same and make sure that your graphics card is up to date. The next thing you guys are going to want to do if you purchased it through the Microsoft Store is open up the, uh, the store application in Windows. Um, if you guys purchased it through Steam you'll open up the Steam application. So once you open up this, uh, you'll go to your library and you'll click on Get Updates. And everything that uh, is pending an update will show up on the list, um, including this Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you can see for me, it doesn't show up as an option to update because it's already done. It was pretty quick. Um, so mine has already been up to date, so I'm okay with this. Um, if you haven't already updated yours, please do this first before you proceed or else the sim is going to have issues once you load it up. Okay guys, so once you open up the sim, you'll see you'll get greeted with a new splash screen as usual. And that is the downtown area of Lisbon. And now while the installation manager loads, it'll probably give us the updates. Here we go. So we have a total download of 2.62 gigabytes here on the right hand side. And uh, before you proceed by clicking update, make sure that the install packages path is set correctly to your simulator location. If this is not the right area where your simulator has been installed, click on it and make sure that you go to the location of where it's installed or else you're gonna have issues and it may not recognize that you've updated this. So once that's correct, and you know that that's the place where it's installed, you're going to click on update and it's going to start updating automatically. So this update here, um, I know it's not too big, but it, it takes some time. So while this is downloading, you have the option here on the bottom left to take a look at the release notes to see what they've updated. So release notes 1.24.5.0. We have here added Portuguese localization, navigation, uh, what do we got here? World, update elevation data for Spain, Portugal, Gibraltar, and Andorra. Uh, aerial imagery for the same locations, improved airport data for 100 airports. Uh, so you have the list here of all the airports and I'll scroll down slowly so you guys get a chance to see uh, the ones that's been updated. Okay, so here you have a notice that says uh, optional world update content via the in-game marketplace. So we're going to check that out once we get into the sim after this update. Um, so as I continue to scroll down, we have Iberia. Uh, there's the photogrammetry cities. So uh, Lisbon is in Portugal. Most of these here are actually, uh, yeah, all these are in Portugal except for Malaga and Bilbao. Um, and then handcrafted airports. So we got uh, two for Portugal, it looks like another two for, um, or at least one for Spain. I'm not really sure where this LESU is. Um, and then we have handcrafted point of interest. So we have quite a few, I think there was like 99 of them if I'm not mistaken. I'll slowly scroll down here so you guys can take a look. Quite a bit of stuff here. 
So these point of interests are like uh, 3D models that they've incorporated into the sim. Um, oh, here we go. So we got um, we got some bush trips. Three new new options to look at. We have landing challenges. We also have discovery flights for all three of the locations. So yeah, pretty big update. A lot of cool stuff. Really looking forward to this. Um, so while this continues to load, uh, I'm just going to let it do what it has to do and I'll meet you guys back in a little bit. All right, guys. So while that was downloading, I went to go grab a drink. And when I came back, it looks like it automatically started uh, restarting the sim. So once again, we're greeted with the, uh, the beautiful downtown of Lisbon. Um, this is the new splash screen that we saw at the beginning. So I'm going to let this load and my assumption is this will go into the simulator and then we'll take a look at the, uh, the new content to download. All right, guys. So exciting stuff. So we're back in the sim. And you can see there's some new uh, new information here on the main screen. We see the marketplace has a new addition there. Um, the rest of the stuff that comes with the world update is currently not in the sim. That's a separate download. And the way you can tell that is if you click on the world map, uh, here's Portugal and Spain, and you can see that it's missing all the POIs and stuff. Everything that you see right now that has a little uh, yellow circle with the star in it, those are airports that I have paid for. Um, and everything else, kind of like the POIs and the airports that they've added and stuff, those are all missing. So we're going to get to that in a moment. So before you guys actually get into that, I just wanted to uh, bring something to your attention. If you guys have mods, uh, whether they're free or payware, um, and you have them in your community folder for the same region uh, that we're updating with these new updates, then make sure you remove them from the community folder. Maybe place them on your desktop or somewhere else. Do the updates first. Make sure everything is okay. And then you can move those uh, mods back into the community folder. But just be aware that you may have mods that conflict or are the same. Like you may have a, a freeware airport that now you're going to get it as part of the update. And you don't want to put both of those back in the same community. So just, uh, just double check that and make sure that you're not duplicating mods. Um, and uh, like if you can remove all the mods from the community folder first update and then move them back in Okay guys, so this is just about done. It's just downloading the last uh, update here for one of the older world updates Australia um, And that's it. So all of them have been updated now what you want to do is you want to go back and We can go right back all the way to the main page and now the main event for the evening, which is the world update patch. So we're going to click here on the bottom right where you see it says marketplace. And this is going to take us into this section. Now they've modified this uh, with one of the uh, last sim updates. Um, so the way to find this now is if you the easiest way anyways is to right at the top here you have world and you just going to click on world and here we go so you'll see that when you move down the second one is the world update for spain portugal gibraltar and andorra so it says free you can just click on this and then once you click on it you just on the on the right hand side here you're going to click on get and download so once you click this it's going to start downloading and this is going to give you all those pois the updated airports um, the uh, aerial, aerial photogrammetry and everything else for the locations. And uh, if you scroll down here, you'll see some pictures of the POIs. Let's see, here's uh, Faro Airport. And there's some nice bridges. Here's some churches. There's some really neat stuff here, guys. This is a really uh, beautiful part of the world to... Uh, you know, go and explore. Um, this, I believe, is in Portugal. That's the Expo Center. Here's some more churches or cathedrals. Uh, we got some stadiums. I see Camp No. Um, there's the Befica Stadium. And then it takes us to the beginning. And I believe these photos here at the bottom show us the same ones we just saw. Oh no, there's a few new ones. Um, there's a dam, some more churches. Uh, there's the uh, the observatory 
So these ones I can't click on them to make them bigger. But anyways, it's almost done. Uh, this one here is seven gigs to download, um, and this one's going quite quickly, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to leave it here, um, and I'll catch you guys as soon as this is over, and then we'll validate and verify that uh, that everything has been installed, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that this is done, we're just going to head back. And now we can go straight back to the main page. And remember I told you we were going to verify that the stuff was installed correctly. So we're going to go back onto the world map. And now you can see that Spain and Portugal are a lot fuller. They have a lot more POIs and they have a lot more airports. So as of right now, my update is complete and if we go back again now we can check um, in the discovery flights let's see if we see anything new here I see Barcelona I'm not sure if this was here before but uh, I see Barcelona now uh, Gibraltar is here uh, Coimbra which is uh, a city in Portugal those ones I think came in with Australia's. I see Lisbon down here and I see Madrid. So these two I believe are also new. And is there anything else? Uh, no, so those, those are the few that have been added to the discovery flights. If we go back and now we look at activities. In here I know that they added some landing challenges and they also added some bush trips. Um, for the bush trips, let me see here. So there's the Portugal journey. I think that's a new one. Um, let me see if there's anything else. The Iberia connection, Madrid to Lisbon, uh, Malaga to Valencia, the Mediterranean coast. Uh, da -da -da, and I think that might be it. And if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me down in the comments down below, but I believe that's it here. And then for landing challenges, I mean, this is going to be a little bit more difficult, but uh, let's see here. So famous, let's see if there's anything in famous that looks new. Uh, these all look the same. Bilbao is here, not sure if it was there before. Uh, Girona, not sure if that one is also new. I see nothing else in this one so if we move on to epic okay I see uh, Leon in Spain this one looks new not a hundred percent again you guys can correct me if I'm wrong I see uh, Portimao this one is new this is for Portugal I believe that wasn't there before um, and we can go back I think there's only one more option so strong winds uh, okay, so this one here has Funchal. That's a new one for Portugal. So, but I already have a rating in there. So this one may be an older one. Maybe it's just updated with the uh, the new update we just did. Uh, Gibraltar, I believe, was already there. And that actually might be. Oh, here's Pico. So Pico is one of the um, the islands um, from Portugal. So this one here is also new. I don't believe this was here before. And that looks like it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, so the update now is complete. Everything is uh, done. Hopefully this helped you guys out and you guys had the same luck that I did going through everything. Um, if, if this helped you guys out and you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a, a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, it helps out a lot and it, it helps me create more content for you guys. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys off with uh, some clips and videos of me traveling around some of the newer cities like uh, Lisbon, uh, Madrid, Barcelona, and I'll check out some of the other locations in Andorra uh, and Gibraltar as well. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys for the next video. You take care.